Hi, welcome back to Prototype. As we can see on the map of whichever island from New York it is, um, apparently, right now, uh, there is no infection in the city. We are the best prepared city in the country. Uh, there will be no infection here. And you shouldn't worry about anything. Until there is the day 7, where there will be some infection here, but there will be very little infection, so you shouldn't worry about it. We're very well prepared. We're the best prepared... Uh, uh, city in the country, so you shouldn't worry about it until the day 14 where um, There is as much infection as there is everywhere else uh, But you shouldn't worry about it because we have it in a bag and soon enough. We're gonna devise the cure. We've got um, Something chloroquine and also uh, you can just take uh, vitamin C and it will be over soon uh, and at the end of the game you will learn that we in fact have the most infected in the world and uh, maybe you should start just injecting bleach. Maybe that will fix it, because we we were uh, we were fresh out of the ideas, I guess. And it was all a joke, I guess. Also, so yeah, let's see what's the mission for us today. Does the name Karen Parker ring any bells? Well, it should. She was close to you, an ex-girlfriend. Oh, I didn't. I, I thought that was a question. Get to her. Where the military makes her disappear. Look, if I can find this lead, you can bet they will too. Alex, be careful. We weren't even listening. So, short and to the point. Good. So there's there's gonna be some gameplay, and I'm gonna need some OP weapons like Whip Fist. Did I pick Whip Fist? Yeah. Oh, someone's watching me. Who could it that? Who could that be? I'm fucking slamming against the roofs of the buildings. Is there a fucking... I don't know. Can they hear me all the way from below? They're blinging up in yellow on the minimap, so that's uh, who sees me. But who would care? Oh, yeah, we've been found. There's just like I wanted to, because I wanted to make some noise. I really want to try out some combos and attacks, because I don't know what I'm really able to do here that's just charged up attacks like that seems to just be jams how do I do a sweep that's not how I do it so how do I do it does anyone know because I don't know apparently so in the meantime what was going on in the world ah yes um, so you know Coronavirus, COVID-19, plague all over the world. No false um, information here about that. Um, Hazas had everyone pretty much lock everything down. And everyone was all mad about this. I'm gonna need a snack here. So I'm close to dying. Will this tank die finally? Yeah, apparently, clearly. Good, so now the helicopter. Um, how do I use the controls here? There we go, I can grapple at, at a distance, but not good enough. Well, anyway, everyone's dead and the um, mess gauge is going down. So, the massive lockdowns all over the world. You know. You wouldn't want to get infected, would you? So maybe stop visiting your friends or just coming outside, going outside and getting uh, yourself in a position where you could be infected by strangers? You wouldn't want that, would you? So, there was a big... well, there still is a big issue about all this lockdown where people complain that the economy might go down. Oh look, smoke. It's as if there's infected there. Good thing there is no infection here, and we are the best uh, prepared city in here, so you shouldn't worry. Um, yeah, what was I saying? People were worried about the eco economy, uh, since no one will be working, so there will be no cash circulation, and shit will go down. But I always thought, from the day one, you know, there is this balance you have to strike, or make a decision more like, whether it's gonna be uh, the economy that's gonna die, or is it gonna be humankind that's gonna die out and in turn the economy gonna die out with that because there's no one gonna 
because there won't be anyone participating. So, what would you like? Dying off and then having the economy die out? Or letting the economy die out, but at least humankind survives? Jeez, what a mess. Look, everything's red. They haven't secured Parker yet. Yes, this is... So, like in the previous mission, we're gonna have a... A go... I think we're gonna have a go at a hive. At a infected... An infected hive. Which is... Which, which is like this. There's a building all crawling with some red... Uh, what was the mushroom thing? The fungus thing? Mycelium. Crawling all over it. And the whole place uh, in the city has a red tint. So... You will know what's going on. Uh, yes, a lighting change is what I'm trying to say. Right. So they're dead. Well, someone was trying to call in some support, I guess. But they're not gonna have that luck. Because they'll be gutted. And I'm all for it. Yeah. Right, so would you like economy to die? Or would you like to die for the economy? For me, the choice is simple. I would rather the economy is dead, not me. So I stayed inside. And talking about staying inside, you know, people don't usually have this much free time on their hands, apparently. So it's... Since uh, the social media is such an ease of spreading information, you can really see what a no... What would be the word? Uh, novel. Novel idea, novel concept, novel... Uh, situation it is for them to be in this situation where you just stay at home for days and your sleep schedule is getting off and it's like an ev um, so well that's something new for them I guess to experience when maybe you and me are the intellectuals here we're the elite that decided to listen to something more interesting than just outright yelling We're supposed to be X. You need to get us a vehicle. A military one, if possible. It's the only way we'll be able to get out of the district. Is, does a green jeep fit the description? Is that enough? Or do I actually have to hijack a fucking tank? Oh, there's a dude here doing something or another. That's not what I wanted. Oh shit. There's more problem. And I wanted that DNA dude. There we go. Shit. Didn't work. So what will that give us? Also, I remember that there is a, a an upgrade waiting for me, but I don't know if I've got anything to upgrade Mark left. Karen I. DOB 1176. Doctorate Genetics, Rutgers University, 7-2-2003. 26 years at the release of game. Director, genotyping, level D access, reported to Director McMullen, Raymond. Now it's 44. Romantically involved with Mercer, Alex J. Wanted for questioning. Subject is to be detained and transferred to Base 6, Charlie Alpha 1. Alright, we already knew that, we already knew that they were looking for her, but what does that give us? And why is my power off? What am I doing here? Acquiring powers, I guess? Hey, I, I see things. I can see forever now. Hold on, I want to check out my fucking upgrades in the meantime. Everything's acquired here, I guess. Is there anything that's not acquired? Movement, maybe? Core. Yeah, and let's not read tooltips. That doesn't end well, does it? So, I should have uh, upgrade points somewhere. But clearly, everything's upgraded, so there's that. Am I supposed to look for something? That's why I've got these glowing things, right? Probably. But then again, maybe not. Right. Um, yeah. So social media give uh, those fucking normies ability to share their experiences of how novel it is to be a, a basement dweller and have uh, lots of free time to spend on not doing anything and just watching YouTube videos all the time and uh, not sleeping till 6 a.m. And then wondering what to do with yourself for the next for the next uh, day, whether you should sleep or stay awake and try to regulate some of this shit. Fortunately, for us intellectuals, is something that we've experienced way uh, earlier in our life cycles. 
So we can so we're pretty much the hipsters of lifestyles, right? Yes, yes we are. You always wanted to be a hipster, you always wanted to be an early adopter of some new uh, experience. New what the what is the word I'm looking for? Trend maybe. Yeah, that would be a good word. Right. So do we want to use um, a disguise? Why not? Why not? Uh, what are we doing? Looking for something. I just go towards the, the arrow. That seems like a reasonable... Oh right, we're looking for a tank. Right, we're supposed to hijack a tank. Nope. Red Crown, that's, that's interesting because that reminds me of Red Queen from... Um, what is it? Um, Resident Evil, actually. And since both are about viral infections, I find it interesting, if not ironic, alright? So, right, we have to consume a dude and then, I think, a pilot to learn to control a tank. We've been over this before, right? Access identity scan to consume a dude. St oh, hey, use stealth consume to discreetly consume when, when other enemies are nearby. Something, finally. Something that I didn't... I wondered about. Uh, so, also our ex-girlfriend's name is Karen. I wonder who would she be looking for. Uh, well, where would she go to find the manager of the um, plague or infection? The, I, I'm like, I feel like I'm missing a very important word for describing this viral outbreak. For outbreak, maybe. That's not that's that's not the the stealth. How do I stealth? How do I stealth? Oh, we're having this again. I didn't really want that. It's fine, I guess. Can I just clear all them out like this? Hold on. I'm pressing buttons and it's not doing what I want. Why am I getting these um, animations that seem to be uh, reintroducing me to these basic? It is basic to me now. Uh, basic uh, powers. I wouldn't know. Strange. Pretty fucking strange, actually. Right. Oh, there's the tank. I need to look up some tutorials, I guess, because the game is not providing me what I want. And I need that stealth. Uh, well, need. I could really use it, because that would make things easier with the stealth consume. Right. We're going in, I guess. Don't be seen, and there we go. Oh yeah, I guess we do have to get rid of the alert. So, hold on. I'd like to get some critical mass, which is the blue part of my health, to make the super hardcore um, destruction elimination... Elimina um, eliminations, yes. Animations of enemy elimination. But... I guess in how fast I'm getting killed compared to how fast I'm regaining my health. It's not really working out. Oh, I, if I oh right, that's true. I lost the commander disguise because I consumed someone else. Shit. Well, that will give me another chance to. Uh, what is it? To um do a stealth kill which I can't because I don't know how to hey stop it I'm the overpowered character here not you so just die All right throw here and consume that one that's the order of operation since we were tied to the animation so I guess we're stuck with that. There we go. Big boost. Give it to me. There we go. Turn to goop. That also, turning into goop, that sort of reminds me of spiders. You know about spiders, right? I'm sure you do. Um, where you... Uh, what you do is... Um, spiders inject a paralytic... Or what is it? Venom? Paralytic venom first? Or is it just um, digestive enzymes? So they stick their uh, victim, well, prey, more like not the victim, with uh, something that starts dissolving them in their carapace, and they, they just suck up the goo that they digested outside of their own system. 
Uh, intriguing. Also disgusting. It's just like drinking puke, essentially. <laughs> Think about that when you're fucking doing whatever. I hope you're eating right now, so we can enjoy the image of drinking puke. Right. Hey, what was I on about? Lockdowns and... Uh, dying, I guess. So yeah, I'd rather the economy die so I can live than the economy living uh, with sacrifice of my own life. But... So, ah, yes, and the hipsters of... How do you... I don't know how to do the stills fucking thing. Did I get his... Did I get his... Nope. We're redoing this again. Perfect. Right, hey. Um, we're back after the cut. Because, of course, health. And also, I just outright looked up how do you do a stealth consume. And now I know. You have to select this menu with an obscure button. And then just use E, like it says on the on the thin on the tin there. So let's try it out on a soldier, because that will allow us to get into the base first, and then we'll deal with the rest. So pity, you know, this tells us to just just use a stealth consume, and then doesn't really tell us how to do it. I'm disappointed in the game, really. I mean, wouldn't you be? Ah, fuck. That's not what I wanted. It's fine, anyway. Consume him, I guess. Also, strangely, uh, like I mentioned way before and at the beginning of the game, um, you get to turn into a disguise where you, you know, into a soldier who wears a full body uniform that you can't tell anything about him, so it's hard to recognize, and you can uh, spoil. Oh shit, fuck. So you can spoil the disguise, but in turn you can just turn into yourself to avoid detection, as if you are the less priority target than some nameless dude that wears the same clothes as everyone else. Weird that, but I guess I'll take it. Right, so since we're in the base now, we'll try to do the stealth thing like we're supposed to. Good concrete walls reinforced with steel rebar here that just broke out, broke apart with very little uh, difficulty. Some uh, protection from all these things that are going on in the town right now, I guess. Alright, pull this out. And there we go. Stealth. Perfectly executed. First, our first try. All according to plan. Good. There should be a cut in here. Should be. And there we go. Operate these vehicles, but someone here does. You need to consume an APC driver to gain the ability to hijack and drive an APC. So I guess that's locked off behind. Uh, what is it? Story progression instead of mm, the upgrades I've got in my tree. Military bases house key personnel. <laughs> Therefore, the key icon. Uh, that can be consumed for upgrades. Visit bases frequently to improve or add skills. So, now we know, way back at the beginning of the game, well, way back, four episodes back, um, we consumed a dude and gained his memory. Now we're learning that we can consume a dude and gain his skills. Is the sky the limit? What else can we learn and, and uh, I don't know, Gain by consuming someone. Oh. Uh, just do the thing. Do I need my hands free? Possibly. Just drop the gun on the floor. That's not suspicious. In the army. Or whatever. Again, welcome back to some more customs. Welcome to the Marine Armor Training Center. There are 19 major systems in this Marine Armored Personnel Carrier and over 25,000 moving parts. In the next eight months, you will learn all of them. When you're done here, you'll be able to park that vehicle on top of an enemy position and blow the shit out of them. It's my job to get your shit in order. It's your job to fuck up and learn. See, it's so much better to be Alex Mercer in this situation where you can just learn in eight months of tr instance training 
of skills and also knowledge about 25,000 moving parts in a vehicle instead of going to class. The only downside is not everyone is Alex Mercer and also the the person that has that knowledge about the armored personal carrier uh, dies in the process. Oh well, as long as you're the one that, who's alive left, right? So how are you dealing with the whole lockdown situation? Are you having trouble sleeping? Are you having trouble not sleeping? Are you... Do you have enough entertainment to keep yourself awake? Or to schedule your day well enough to not have uh, problems? Maybe you do still have a job that you have to wake up to and uh, attend. Because apparently school is not it anymore. I know exactly how to drive this thing. <laughs> yes, thank you Alex. Oh, something that you might not... That might not be obvious from just the video footage. Steering, or more like controlling the turret, is a bit weird. It has inertia. Um, I'm gonna stop moving my mouse now, and the turret still moves around. Kinda weird, especially when you want speed and precision. It's as if you're using like a... I, I shouldn't be driving over there, that might be suspicious. If you're driving, if maybe it's more... Oh, also it takes... Uh, where you're aiming into consideration. Or maybe I shouldn't be worried about um, the personnel here since I already have, you know, a tank, so it's not like they can stop me much. I think I killed him. Yeah. I accidentally killed the dude and <laughs> barely anyone cares. Good. That sounds like a military. Uh, what is it? Protocol, yeah, that's the word. Uh, so, yeah, having tanks now, let's try it out. I guess it's uh, auto cannon with grenades, that's pretty cool. And also missiles if you need some more hitting power. That's real soldiers, good thing they don't mind being shot at uh, themselves. Well, yeah, what? Being shot at by us or by uh, other military, that's good. Also, standard military protocol, just drive, drive over cars and let them explode, killing um, civilians around. Danger close, not in this lifetime. Danger is close and the danger is Alex Mercer. And we're gonna stop at nothing to get him. Right. Uh, which way am I going in? It seems like it's all gated off by building. I'm gonna go back to this little... Uh, I don't know, back alley to try to squeeze in if I won't find anything on this side of the of the building, but I guess this is as good as any other entry point. Weird. Also, was this where we talked today to Karen? Oh, uh, what? Right, whatever. Fire secondary. Let's aim a missile at a dude. Hey, that worked pretty well. It's as if you know, modern targeting systems are pretty good, so you can aim at cold and hot alike, and it doesn't really matter if it's cold or hot. You can designate it with lasers and keep the laser on. So, um, what did we do here? I don't even know. Maybe try out weapons, that was the mission, or like a stage in it. No, we don't have infinite of everything anymore. We've got a thousand and twenty missiles, a thousand uh, grenade rounds and twenty missiles. They'll get us through, don't worry, that will be no problem. Hive, the oh yeah, we're destroying Hive, I guess. I thought we were helping Karen. And yeah, I'm trying to say, Karen, by the way, I don't know if you know, but Karen, if that name rings any bells, yeah, I already made the joke. Okay, that's cool, I already made the joke that that Karen is probably looking for C for the manager of the infection right now. So... Uh, while she's gonna, she's causing some havoc in personnel. We're gonna invade the headquarters of this installment facility, um, this place of business of the hive, and just kick their asses some more to help Karen on her quest of seeing the manager. Knock knock. There's Miss Karen who would like to speak with you. She specifically ordered economy with no um, infections ever, and she's not having what she was she had ordered. So, oh, you're already in. That's good. 
No, I, I was about to complain whether she whether she should talk to us through whether she should talk to us through a radio. But then again, helicopters are loud enough for you to need those uh, headsets to communicate. Maybe tanks are as well. Even though, again, technology went forwards a little bit with the dampening technology, so the crew has better um, conditions to fight in in a tank instead of being hot, noisy, and uncomfortable with all all the all the tools and uh, controls very unergonomically uh, set around. And you you would actually want. Uh, the things in a tank to be actually comfortable so you can fight better because you're not struggling with breathing and you can focus on shooting the enemy yeah i guess we have we have that now but not well enough since we still need some noise cancelling uh, he um, headphones and to speak to the microphone and talk through a radio in a tank but anyway we're going forwards good thing this is all-terrain vehicle because it has tracks, so we can go straight to the fucking par park, and also humans, straight to the fucking arrow, like an arrow. Right. What do you think about Karen here? Do you think she's attractive? She seems pretty attractive. I think Alex had an eye for women, at least at some point. I wonder why did they break up? Is it because she's, uh, her name is Karen? Name obliges, after all, doesn't it? Uh, park here. Big GTA marker for you to land your vehicle in. Mission complete. Very good. Right, so that will be it for today, for this episode. We're gonna be spreading the disease some more next time around. Thanks for sticking by. Hopefully you'll stay for the conclusion of this epic story. I you, Karen and I were together once. Yeah, we've we already figured. Us at my apartment. Yeah. At least I assume that was us. Yeah, that's telling. Karen worked at Gentech. Maybe she could explain what was going on with me and how to control it. Maybe the pictures are like in Bad Boys. Freeing Elizabeth Green was a mistake. She was a monster. Infecting everything she touched. Get to Green. Find out who did this to me. I thought she was the key to all of this. And was she? In a way. Sort of, kind I of. I knew we were connected. Victims of a common enemy, subjects of a common experiment, and I didn't know. But I had Karen. And we were going to put a stop to this thing together. Right, so do you think maybe it's like in Bad Boys, where you get a picture of someone else in your apartment every time uh, he or you save their lives? Either of you save each other's lives. Yeah, like in Bad Boys. Why is it green? What does that mean? Well, I guess we'll learn soon enough in the next episode. Soon enough, yeah, surely. And, I don't know, a big, a big thing I was trying to, you know, f find a moment to mention. Maybe I should have started with that, but... It's never so easy to just start with something, not with me. Um, so the music I'm, I'm using for the intro, it's 10 seconds long. And that was a slip up on my part, because uh, that's... That was enough... Jeez, these textures have such a weird overlay. I don't know what's going on. It'll get fixed once I restart the game, don't worry about that. Um, I slipped up because I used 10 seconds of it. And that was enough to trigger uh, copyright... Um, strike detection the algorithm you know YouTube is such if I stuck to six seconds maybe I could have avoided it but so far I got only one uh, DMCA claim automatic DMCA claim on on that strangely enough so I'm gonna give this episode another go like this one is gonna be another one with the full intro and then I'll try to cut it up a little bit if I'll get another strike to see if the algorithm still worries or cares about this, or if I can um, keep my 10 seconds uh, in, cause uh, fuck YouTube. Yeah, talking about fuck YouTube, uh, see you next time when I play more of something for you for free.
Hopefully you'll enjoy that as, as much as you enjoyed this. Or maybe more. Hopefully more. Been running up.